Hello all, this video is on enabling and testing UART TXRX on Raspberry Pi 3B+. Already we have done a video on this. This video is on 64-bit uh, OS. We have written the OS uh, on uh, a class 10 SD card using Raspberry Pi Imager. During uh, writing OS, we have input the Wi-Fi credentials and SSH credentials. GPU of 14 and 15 or uh, TXT and RXT pins of Raspberry Pi 3B+. We'll see how to enable it. First, we'll use PuTTY SSH uh, client to log in, uh, headless login. We'll be using the uh, hostname as uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, login using the standard Pi and Raspberry password. This is through uh, PuTTY window. We'll log in first and then use sudo raspi config to enable vnc server we have to run the vnc server on raspberry pi and go to interface options and go to vnc and then enable it click enable and then finish no reboot is required for vnc enable it will automatically server will start now click on ok and then finish uh, now you have to get a client for on your PC which is Tiger VNC Viewer. Install it and open it. You can log in using the VNC server name which is Raspberry Pi and then log in using Pi and uh, Raspberry which is a standard uh, name and password. This is the headless login on your PC. You will see the uh, Raspberry Pi screen on your PC. You can click on uh, terminal uh, and then again uh, use the sudo raspi config. Now we are going to enable the UART. So type in sudo raspi config, open the configuration window and go to interface op options and uh, click on uh, serial. That is uh, now you are going to enable the serial option. First you have to disable the login shell. So login shell access, you have to click on no and then for you have to enable, you have to uh, say yes and then finally you have to do a re reboot for this to get effective. Once uh, the screen is back again, you enable the, uh, you go to the config.txt. Now it is under boot firmware config.txt. Use nano to edit that and go to the last and you will see enabled underscore uart equal to 1. This is automatically entered as you are done through the raspi uh, config system. Now, now type in this command ls forward slash dev forward slash serial 0. So you will get tty s0. So serial 0 is the sim link uh, that is pointing to actual your tty s0. Now again type in ls hyphen l space forward slash dev forward slash serial 0 to get whether the serial 0 points to tty am a0 or tty s0 now it shows tty s0 serial 0 points to tty s0 so in code you can use either serial 0 or tty s0 now you have to create a virtual environment as a new os you have to always create virtual environment before starting coding and then activate the environment using this source my env forward slash ban forward slash activate. You can get your name that is the virtual environment you have created. Inside this you have to install the pi serial pip install pi serial. Only within this virtual environment you can uh, install the external uh, dependencies uh, libraries. Otherwise you will get error. Now uh, pip list will list the uh, list of uh, pips you have done. You have installed Pi Serial Library. Now you are ready to code. Before that, uh, type in this code forward slash dev forward slash tty s uh, asterisk. You can get tty s0. Now uh, you can use this uh, permission uh, command only if you get permission issues. Otherwise, it is not required. Uh, before starting the Pi script, we have to do the RxTX connections with the USB TTL. At Rx pin of 
Raspberry Pi, always use a level shifter. So the uh, le levels of Raspberry Pi GPU pins are at 3.3 volt level. So always use a level shifter like this. This is a simple level shifter, series of one resistor and a parallel or another resistor. This is a second uh, level shifter where you use a fast recovery diode. When the 5 volt level is 0, the diode is forward biased and 0 level will appear uh, at 3.3. And when the uh, 5 volt level is high, it is reverse biased and 3.3 volt level will apply. So it is a best level shifter. Always use a level shifter only at the RX pin of Raspberry Pi. TX pin of Raspberry Pi goes directly to RX of USB to TTL. And uh, TX of uh, uh, USB to TTL goes through a level shifter to the RX of Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi uh, receives only 3.3 volt level. It is very uh, important. Now plug in the USB to TTL to your PC and open the uh, <coughs> node on the port allotted to that. Now let us write the uh, Pi script using sudo nano. Provide a name and then dot pi. This is the script, Pi uh, Python script to test the UART. So here we import the required modules. Serial is the part of Pi serial library and time is built in Python module just for handling time related tasks. And configuring the serial port, port specifies the serial port to use. That is a forward slash DAV forward slash serial uh, zero, which is a sim link that points to the actual UART device, which is TTY S0 based on your uh, setup. The baud rate uh, speed is 9600 and timeout is uh, one second before uh, sending data and sending data the send data function takes a string data encodes it to bytes using utf8 and writes it to the serial port using serial uh, write function and then the print data prints the send data to the console for confirmation and uh, receiving data receive data function checks if there is data available in the input buffer with the serial in waiting and serial read line reads the line from the serial port and then decodes it and prints it. And then the main loop starts the try block to handle any exceptions. And while true runs in infinite loop. Now you can see the result if you execute it. And uh, you can op uh, open a, uh, this uh, cool term window <coughs> for uh, uh, seeing the receive data open the cool term and uh, provide the port number that is allotted to the usb to ttl and the baud rate is 9600 and open the serial terminal with the local echo enabled now you can see from uh, raspberry pi uh, uart that is serial zero it is transmitting and you are uh, receiving at this uh, terminal cool term so this is how raspberry pi uh, three UART works. You have to enable it as, sh as shown in the uh, video, and then uh, you can connect to external devices like uh, GSM or GPS or even DIVIN displays. That is in the future videos. In future videos, we'll check up with the Raspberry Pi 4 also. Thank you for watching.